when you make a shortwave oscillator in the 2 up to 10 MHz band, and here you see such an oscillator working at the moment with this coil on 6.7 MHz. In general, the output from such an oscillator is extremely sensitive. When you touch it with your hand, uh, the, the frequency can change or the output, the amplitude can change. So that's the reason why you often need a buffer stage to decouple the sensitive oscillator from the rest of the circuit. And here you see such a buffer stage that I've made. This is the schematic. Consisting of a BC557B that can amplify up to 10 MHz or 9 MHz. Here is the input cap. That input cap depends uh, in a certain way on the frequency and I've taken 470 picofarad. Also the output cap here depends on the frequency. I've taken 1 nanofarad, so 1000 picofarad. But anyway, this is a good circuit to decouple. And here we have a low impedance signal out. And you can see that here. This is the output signal from that oscillator on 6.7 uh, megahertz. And you can change the working point from that buffer stage with this potentiometer. I want to sh show now what happens when we change the value from that potentiometer. And here we have the best waveform. So that's something to uh, take in account. This is the best waveform. I can change my scope. And here you see a more or less good sine wave. The purity from that sine wave depends on the input cap, the output cap here, and the working point. So, a quite useful circuit uh, when you want to do experiments with oscillators on shortwave or radio oscillators, etc.